What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mihir's Trading Journey. This is your host Mihir and it's always great to have you guys here. Now today is going to be the start of a part by series talking about how to set up Motive Wave, a very very powerful platform to trade your futures or stocks, whatever they may be. And it connects to a lot of prop firms, so personally I'm with Fast Track Trading and it connects effortlessly through rhythmic servers. So let's get right into it and we're going to go over how to set up Motive Wave from scratch from what they give us all the way up to what's on the screen right now. Let's get right into it, guys. So those of you that downloaded Motive Wave for the first time, when you open it up, you're going to see a screen something similar to this after they've listed out the entirety of the brokers that they support. You press OK and continue. You're going to see something like this on the screen where it asks you to come up with a workspace name. So for me, I'm going to name it something like uh, scalp trading uh, NASDAQ or scalp trading futures for that matter, right? This could be literally anything. You probably want to name it something similar to what your purpose of this workspace is going to be for me. It's scalp trading. For the location, I like using Motive Wave Cloud and not Local Disk. The difference between the two is that Local Disk actually saves all your configuration and all your preferences for the workspace on the local computer, whereas Motive Wave Cloud saves it in the cloud of Motive Wave's servers. And that way you can actually log into any Motive Wave across any platform and it will pull out your chart layouts, your all of your preferences exactly the way you set it up right now. So for me, I'm going to leave it at Motive Wave Cloud and I'm going to go ahead and hit the add connection button. After you hit the add connection button, I'm going to go ahead and give the connection a name. For me, I'm going to name it FTT dash rhythmic, which stands for fast track trading rhythmic. So I know that this is a FTT rhythmic server connection. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the service and I'm going to go ahead and look for rhythmic and we can find rhythmic right around here you're actually going to go ahead and put your username that was given to you by your either your prop firm or either by rhythmic to log into your r trader pro let's go ahead and do that right now. now obviously my username is blurred out but for market data what you want is a non-aggregated market data since most prop firms actually run through non-aggregated data style so we're going to go ahead and hit test connection now it should autofill the username in and if it hasn't go ahead and put that same username in uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put the password that was provided with that username. So I've went ahead and put my password in. And as for gateway, we're going to leave that at Chicago for system. This is where it dif differs from prop firm to prop firm. I'm with fast track trading, so I'm going to be using rhythmic paper trading servers. Uh, if you're with Apex, they have their own dedicated server. If you're with top step, they have their server with rhythmic fast track trading is also working on getting their own private servers on rhythmic. And it's going to be incredible as soon as we get that. Now, as for market data, we're going to leave that as non aggregated as I said before, and we're going to go ahead and hit the connect button. Now, if you've done everything right, you should see connection was successful. Now, some of you guys might get an error with the F FCB, I believe most commonly the error occurs either because the login is incorrect or you're trying to log in on a Saturday, which the rhythmic servers are actually down on Saturday. So we're going to go ahead and hit the OK button here and we're going to go ahead and add connection. So now you should see something called the FTT rhythmic connection or for you, whatever you named it here. You're going to click on that and you're going to hit create workspace. So now you're going to have a pop up message telling you that it was successful at creating the workspace. And you're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, if you've done everything right and you've proceeded forward with the steps, this is where now you enter your license key provided by uh, fast track trading as of lately. However, if you have your own license key from Motive Wave, you can also go ahead and put that here or ask for a free trial license key from support by contacting them at support at Motive Wave. Dot com. Obviously, you guys can see on the screen that even though it's blurred, you can see that I've already filled out my key. So I'm going to go ahead and hit update for you guys. It might be a little different because it might say something like OK or next or done. And we're going to go ahead and click one of those buttons to proceed to the next step. Now, if you added your license key properly, it should say with a pop up message that your license key was successfully added or updated. And we're going to go ahead and press OK. If you followed all the procedures properly, you should now be at the Motive Wave home screen, just like on my screen currently. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the drop Drop down menu right here and select your workspace you created during startup. Now, before going forward and continuing, I want you to make sure you hit this check mark at the auto connect. This will log you in every single time you launch Motive Wave into your rhythmic using your rhythmic credentials. We're going to hit continue. Now, everyone should have this pop up on their screen. This is where you're going to put in your password one more time. Everything else should be populated. And then you're going to go ahead and change the system to exactly the system that you put in during your initial setup. So for me, that was rhythmic paper trading. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And then we're going to go ahead and select remember password. That way, I don't need to put in the password every single time to log in. And we're going to go ahead and hit connect and continue. 
This should now load up Rhythmic's default layout. And we're gonna go ahead and change everything about this. So we're gonna get rid of all of these default panels and we're gonna start from scratch. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in full screen by pressing that button on the top right. And I'm gonna start closing out of all the windows. What I'm gonna do next is come down here at the bottom left Hit that order flow chart and i'm actually going to close out of this because i don't like using the order flow chart as they have set up by default on motive way so i'm going to get rid of that and we're going to set that up in a different video at, at a different time in the future at some point if you guys are asking for it so we're going to go ahead and close out of this we're going to close out of floating I'm also going to personally close out of options. I don't really trade options on Motive Wave anyways, because I trade with the prop firm and trading futures with the prop firm is the best. And I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this scan tab as well. So the next step to do here, guys, is actually hit this plus icon right here and hit chart, which is going to be the first option. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and put in the ticker we're trying to work with. So for me, it's going to be NQ and we're going to go ahead and choose our analysis type, right? So we're going to go uncheck this untitled to the primary analysis and the bar width we're going to set that to five minute because i personally like trading on the five minutes as my default chart for those of you that like some other chart go ahead and select that specific time frame we're going to go ahead and link this to red and we're going to press ok now after you've done that guys you guys probably should see a default chart that motive wave gives you mine might look a little different because i've selected the dark theme by default and i'll show you exactly how to set that up and whatnot but before that we're going to go ahead and get rid of the other tabs up here the orders and the positions tab because we can access that from the accounts down here our next step is going to be getting rid of this volume i personally don't like using volume by time i like using uh, volume profile which is volume by price it shows you exactly how many orders have been executed at a specific uh, volume price and i'll show you exactly Exactly how to do that so we're gonna go ahead and click on this volume and we're gonna hit the delete button right here and then you should have a blank chart so let's go ahead and change some default settings on motive way for example if I click and drag around I can drag left and right but I can't drag up and down now I try to copy trade of eights layout most of the times so and in trade of eight you're allowed to actually drag all the way across up and down left and right however you want right and right now if I scroll upwards we go back in time and if I scroll downwards using my mouse we go forward in time. I wanna change all of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit this gear icon on the top right, and then we're gonna go ahead and go into mouse, and for the wheel action, we're actually gonna go ahead and do bar width, and we're gonna invert that. And then alt wheel action, we're just gonna leave that as time shift, and for the shift wheel action, we're gonna leave that as a vertical spacing. Now we're gonna hit apply, and we're gonna press okay. So now if I scroll up, we're zooming in, and if I scroll down, we're zooming out right and if i hold shift and scroll up we're going to be zooming out and if i shift and scroll in we're going to be zooming in and that's basically how trade of it has it set up as well now let's get rid of this auto sizing so i don't only drag left and right but i can also drag up and down to do that what we're going to do is right click on the chart itself go into chart settings we're going to go into the scaling tab and we're going to hit this auto scale right here option and we're going to hit price range instead after this, we're just gonna leave everything default. We're gonna hit apply and we're gonna press okay. Now you guys should see, we can drag this freely. We can scroll in and out freely and we can shift scroll in and out to zoom in and out. One more thing I wanna do before I end the tutorial for today guys is actually move all these tabs to the top here and that way it's more organized. I don't like it down here. If you like it here, leave it as is. But if you don't like it, just follow these steps. You can press either this gear icon or the bottom right gear icon. It doesn't really matter which one. Now that you're in the preferences, you're actually gonna go ahead and hit the dock. And on the page bar location, you're gonna go ahead and hit top. And you're gonna leave everything as default. You're gonna hit apply and you're gonna press okay. Now, if you see, we've shifted the toolbar up here. So ladies and gentlemen, we have primed our charts so we can move on forward with all the other steps in the upcoming tutorials. Thank you for sticking around if you really did like this video. And if you like what I'm doing in this series, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you dislike it, go ahead and hit that thumbs down button. It helps with the algorithm anyways. We're gonna go ahead and end it here. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.